her lights moved up and down, all over, flickered, but they were gone by the time the officers arrived. Uh-huh. And the noises? Oh, gosh, they sounded like, um, yelping sounds, maybe? Yeah, yeah. Lots of that out here. You got that? Yep, got that. Ma'am, is it possible you were mistaken? Yeah. Maybe you had an out-of-body experience? <laughs> I work two jobs, okay? I have to buy this ridiculously expensive formula for my baby. I, I picked them up late last night. I put them down to bed. I was exhausted, yes, but I'm not stupid. I saw something. Yeah, our guys looked around. They, they said they didn't see anything. They didn't even go back there. Well, hold on now, all right? Okay, I, I, I think something is going on out here. Okay, now Kelly, what's important is I need you to tell me, did your husband or boyfriend or, you know, I see any of this or? No, my boyfriend didn't see any of this because he left me when he found out I was pregnant, so no. No, he didn't. Hmm, huh. well, that's unfortunate. Mm. Yeah, I'm curious, this uh, phenomenon, you think maybe it's a, uh extraterrestrial in nature? I don't know what it was. I didn't call you out here to judge me. I called you out here to protect me. I'm alone with two little girls. And if you two aren't gonna take me seriously, then I wanna speak to someone who is. <laughs> the gal was nuts. Yeah, she thinks she thinks we're the Ghostbusters. Oh, you know, we have aliens in East Bank now, Travis. <laughs> okay, now hold on. Okay, I mean this girl, you know, she was she was hot, and I could have got that number, but I already feed three kids that probably aren't mine, so no thanks. <laughs> Can I see the report? What report, Sarge? The girl was high as a kite. All right, honestly. I kind of feel bad for those kids. Mm. On this precinct, when we take a statement, we write a report. Sorry. Don't call me that. The girl works at Pappy's. I know what goes on in there, don't you, Travis? Yeah, I do know what goes on in there. How do you guys know she works there, huh? I'll write something up. Yeah. And you'll do it today. Go. What's wrong with them? I don't know. Have you received any applications? Not that I've seen, but I can go check. You know why we haven't received any? Because they all apply at Precinct 1. Because when the city split us up, they gave Tomlinson first pick on everything. Cars, people, computers, and we get the junk. So they funnel everything to him, and we get squat. And those two are worthless. What are you doing? You need to breathe. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Have you thought of calling your old partner? She? was not my partner, she was my trainee. And she made her choice. Hey, thanks for the help Saturday. Watch and learn. I just indicted Baker, that's my girl. Give me something challenging next time. She's really proud to be his pet. She earned it. Coffee? Yes. Are you going out? Or break room stuff? Break room. Oh, no. Why don't you go get the real thing? I can. 
Oh, you know what? I don't even have time anyway. But thank you. Hey, excuse me, Detective Tanner. Kevin, where have you been? Uh, nowhere, really. Here, working. Almost every day, like usual. <laughs> really? I thought you had gone somewhere. No, not that I recall. Um, oh, well, hey, since you're here, can I get you to push through those vape pen samples from the kids that lied to me? Of course. I'll probably have to stay late, but I'll get them processed for you. You're great. Thank you. You too. I, I mean, thank you too. Hey, you, you know what? We should grab that coffee like we talked about after that one time. <laughs> oh, yeah, back when we had time. I still have time. you want next week when we're there. Oh, I know. I am so excited. So, how is life in the big city? Uh, Mom, Abilene is not the big city. And if it was, I wouldn't know because I work, I sleep, and I do mommy things. So, that's it. How's your new adventure? Oh, look at these. I made these little goodie bags for all the people I'm going to meet. Aren't they cute? Where is my tail bag? He's playing, but I will make sure that he is ready to play pass with Papa next week. Well, he better, and Mom is going to be playing too. Uh, no. You have a grandson now, which means I am retired. No. Nope. That's not how it works. Mm, I'll think about it. Maybe. sleeping in your car. Did you go to the interview? No. <laughs> Come on. Let's go inside. Can you walk? special occasion that I do something right. You want some cheese? Yeah. Say when. That's good. It's hard to explain, but knowing that I am finally taking the next step in something that God placed on my heart, it makes me so happy. Can I have some of my salad? Just think, tomorrow I will be looking into the eyes of someone who I've been praying for. And, and finally meeting them and sharing. <laughs> I'm very proud of you. Stepping out of your comfort zone. And serving in prison, that's, it's awesome. After all of these years, God has finally opened a door for us to work together. You on one side of the bars and me on the other. No, <laughs> oh, well, let's keep it that way. <laughs> How was your day? It's terrible, babysitting. I would fire both of them, but I don't have anybody to replace them. I mean, my precinct is like the dumping ground for, for Tomlinson's little select club. East Bank PD needs to fire someone? No, send him to Travis. He'll take care of it. 
but you're still working on your positive attitude at the office? Yes, I am. And we know that God placed you in this position for a reason. Yeah, yeah, he did. Have you thought about calling Chris? Um, maybe she could use a change of scenery. Why does everyone suggest that? She hasn't called me. I'm not going to call her. Besides, she's obviously very happy over there. So I'm just going to deal with my own problems and wait for someone to show up, I guess. I forgot the bread. I'm gonna get one out of the safe for tomorrow. So soon? That's why we sold the house, right? Who's it for? Good afternoon, ma'am. I'm Sergeant Travis with East Bank Police Department. You spoke to a couple of my detectives recently about suspicious activity on your property. I'm just here to follow up. Yeah, well, you just woke up my baby, and I have to be at work in an hour. Can this be quick? Absolutely. Um, mind if I check around back? Yeah, that's fine. To you if they don't want to. It's up to them. If you have a problem, you raise your hand, we'll be watching. You offer no favors, you make no promises, you give no gifts. Leave everything in here except your Bible. You can get it when you leave. You are here to talk, listen, and that is it. If you hear a siren or an alarm, you make your way to the same door that you came in as quickly as possible. Are there any questions? Lastly, on behalf of the prison staff, we say thank you. Thank you for being here, because you do make a difference. It is very natural to feel that way. I'll try my best to explain it. The Bible tells us that there is no sin that can place us beyond the reach of God's love. And if you humbly seek his forgiveness, you'll be cleansed and found blameless in his sight. So no matter what you've done, it's never too late. He'll always take you back. In fact, he runs to welcome you home. If you like, I could pray with you. You could ask him to do that for you.
Yeah. I'd like that. You find anything? Um, no, not yet. I'll, uh... I'll, I'll be in touch soon. Thank you. She's awake. It's all right. Look, I, uh, I wanted to say thank you for taking me seriously. Not a lot of people do because of where I work. I had to make money fast. You know, I'd do anything to take care of my girls. You don't need to explain it. I had a mother that she'd run away when times got tough, so I... No judgment here. Just have a nice day. Hey, hey, listen. Um, this is something that to help with um, my wife and I. We just—it's for you. What is this? It's, it's just a gift. do for it. Oh, no, no, no. It's, it, it's just for you. <laughs> really? Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I could quit my job at night. <laughs> As you are. Thank you. Don't thank me. I'm just doing what I was called to do. Do you think we could uh, talk about something else real quick? Something really important? Of course. So, my sister came across this property for sale in a shopping center, and it's way below market. And I've been thinking about what I can do when I get out of here, and she can't work. Okay. And it's like, she only needs like $15,000 extra. I mean, that, that's it. She already saved up a bunch. And I can't help her when I'm in here. So I was wondering if you might be able to get it to her somehow. That sounds like a really nice opportunity. Look, I, I could get you the bank account number, or if you brought me a, a cashier's check, I, I, could, I could give it to her. Look, she's also really sick. Tanya, Tanya, you getting saved again, girl? <laughs> Wait a minute, how many times have it been? Six now? How many times you plan on dying? <laughs> Hey, she about to tell you about her new business that she only need about $10,000 for. <laughs> oh, 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 wait a minute. Or oh, is her grandbaby sick again? Because, baby, that baby stay sick. Do you hear me? That baby done had the flu, the pneumonia, the coronavirus, and the COVID-19 all in the same week, girl. <laughs> don't believe it. I'm telling you, don't believe it, girl. So <laughs> 
so. Can you get me the money? I was embarrassed. And humiliated. Hey. It's not that bad. You know, you did your part. You shared with her. I don't know if I can go back. I invested my whole heart into helping these people and they don't even care. Okay. There is nothing I can say that they haven't already heard a hundred times. You know, people may not remember what you say, but they will remember how you made them feel. Well, I don't know if I can do it again. Just let your emotions calm down and Listen to what God tells you. Now you heard that before? Yes. It's what I say to you. Mm -hmm. So, how was your day? My day was, uh, was amazing. Did you find any alien tracks? No. But I do know what's going on. Oh, you do? Mm-hmm. Yes, I do. How far is it? It's up here. We just have to get far enough away from the houses. I bet you've brought girls back here before, haven't you? What? No. It's who were the first. Are you sure we're supposed to be out here? You scared? Want to go back? Come on. We always vape out here. I, I thought you said there was going to be a beer. Shh. It's going to be fun, OK? We're worrying. Like, we're together. But I had to lie to my parents. I've never done that. And it'll be a night of firsts. I want some Starster. You know how expensive that is? I know you have enough for me. Hey, did you guys hear that? What? You scared now, too? No. Okay, please. Can we... Shh. Okay, no, I'm going. Holly, grow up. Shh. Hey, guys? <laughs> <laughs> that, Travis? I think we scared him pretty good. Yeah, we're good. Come on back. <laughs> Was that funny? Yes, super funny. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Chris. Uh, it's Travis. Yeah, I was I was just calling to see uh, how things were going over there with Tomlinson. Yeah. Please give me some room to breathe. 
But yeah, I just thought, you know, maybe we could chat, you know, see if you might be interested in something, you know, a change, or, you know, come boss me around for a while. But, uh, yeah, well, I hope things are going well in your life, and, um, you know, just, uh, just give me a call when you get this. All right, bye. to speak with someone from your group. She's a model prisoner, but uh, she hasn't received a letter or a visitor since she's been here. I am happy to talk with anyone who's willing. Hi. I'm Becky. It's nice to... Becky Howard. <sighs> Becky Travis. <laughs> 